The Pan-African Heritage World Museum is the creation of Mr. Kujoyanka, the founder of African University College of Communication and the former Minister of State and Member of Parliament of Ghana. Mr. Kojo Yanka explained that the key component of the heritage world was a museum which coincided with the story of Africans from creation to the present day. Adding that, it is time we tell our own story to guide and inspire our youth to be more proud and self-confident. The museum will be located at Pumaze Hills near Winneba Junction, Ghana and to be managed by an international board of trustees supported by an academic council choosing from various parts of the Pan-African world. He said a project which was to be partly funded through donation and grants will also be open to private sector investment. The Pan-African Heritage World Museum is going to be built up on the hill and what we have done today is to now provide the path to the site this is the access road 1.2 kilometers that we have created to go up to the hilltop so we are planting the trees to decorate the avenue that drives you all the way to the top. Now, up there, we are going to create the Pan-African Heritage City. Now, in the city, we're going to have the African University College of Communications, AUCC. And then, more important for this particular purpose, we are going to also host the Pan-African Heritage Museum is the biggest, probably the most ambitious heritage museum project on the continent of Africa. This is the museum that is going to house the history, the culture, the arts, the sciences, the civilization of Africa from the time that Africa was created. In other words, from the time that the human being was created because humans were created from Africa till today. So we will curate all that in the sixth story museum that we are going to put out there. Now, we are not going to just have a museum where you just get in, look around, and then just go back. There are some other features that are going to attract a lot of people from throughout the world. One will be a 500-seater film theater that will show all the films on Africans and their achievements 24-7 uh, up there. It will also be a place for conferencing and for all kinds of meetings. But our site, the main structure, you will have a park of African hills. We are going to have a garden in which we are going to sculpture about 200 heroes and heroines of Africa and African descent who have achieved and who qualify to be role models of the youth for the future so that the youth can go and read about them and know about them and get inspired by them. We have another unit that is a palace of African kingdoms. We are going to curate all the major kingdoms that have sprung up on the continent of Africa from ancient days till now so that people can go and learn about these kingdoms, learn about the differences, the diversities, and more important, learn something from all those kingdoms. That area is going to give the opportunity 
for visitors to have access to all the cuisines on the continent of Africa. So you can have your breakfast from Ghana, you can go to South Africa for your lunch, go and have an Ethiopian dinner, whatever. Um, that is the Palace of African Peoples. Then there's the unit about the African herbal plant village. We have over 30,000 species of herbal plants on the continent. There's no reason why Africa should be looking for medicine elsewhere. You want to plant them here? Not just for a show, but also to use them for education. We will even extend it to research so that we can research into them here on the site. That's why we've created chalets. We're going to build a number of chalets within the African Herbal Plant Village so that people can stay there, do research, learn, and understand themselves. Our last unit is kind of the festival park. We're going to have a, a huge one acre space for concerts, for festivals, for games, for all kinds of entertainment that will bring the youth together to learn about themselves. But doing that, we have a wing that is going to be a hub for innovation and creativity. So the youth who have discovered or invented or have initiated some projects will also have a place to share experiences. It is important that we share these experiences together because we are Africans or we are people of African descent. So this is a huge uh, project that is going to cost 30 million US dollars and we have already started fundraising. We are looking at May the 5th for the sword cutting ceremony uh, by the President of the Republic of Ghana. We will invite other leaders from across the Pan-African world. We will invite Corporate Africa to be all part of this so that we take off and start construction before the end of the year. We are hoping that construction will take about a year and a half and we can allow ourselves some time in 2023 to now fill in and get it ready for commissioning in July 2023. So this is a very important project, not just for Ghana, not just for the Pan-African world, but for the whole world. We have been reading about history, about ourselves, written by other people. Everything here will be our own story. That's why we have an international board. We have an international academic council. They are writing the narrative. This is our own story about ourselves. And it has been said, and we said it several times, it is only our own story that can shape our future. We cannot use other people's stories to shape our future. They are gone. They have used their own culture and their arts and their own genuity to build their, their nations. It is time for Africans to take a step back and see where we went from, learn about each other, work together and produce a strong continent and therefore a continent a strong black race. And I believe strongly that this will come to pass from the way that the responses have been throughout the world, I'm confident.